Hey guys, Winston at Carbide 3D. For this Fusion Friday, I want to show off a quick little hack if you want to run your Nomad with the spindle off. This can be useful if you're doing something like using a drag engraving bit, or want to tape a pen or something to your machine that doesn't need the spindle turning. Normally, if you try to post G-code with the RPM set to zero, it's not going to work. What you have to do instead is post your G-code like usual, and then open up the NC file in a text editor of your choice. The line you're looking for is S something M3. In human terms, that says set the target RPM to 10,000 or whatever you have programmed in and power on the spindle motor. If you remove that line, the motor won't turn on. This is applicable to G-code from any program really, so regardless of how you generate your toolpaths, if you don't want the spindle turning, remove the line of code containing M3. Additionally, if let's say you want to bypass the tool length probing every single time you start a program, you can remove the line of code with M6 in it. Because normally, even if you haven't changed the tool in your machine between runs, if Carbide Motion sees M6, it's going to touch off the tool. Just make sure you've jogged and set your zero position manually first after turning on the machine. Now, when you hit start, the Nomad will immediately begin cutting or dragging or drawing, whatever you have it set to do. In my case, I'm engraving some business cards with my logo. One thing to note is that some post-processors don't bother including an M6 command at all. <clears throat> I'm looking at you, Vectric. So if you're running a program from VCarve or Aspire, as soon as you hit go, your CNC is going to make a beeline for your part, so just be aware of that. Use these G-code tweaks at your own risk because they will cause the machine to behave a little differently than what you might normally expect. Hope this quick tip helps if you're looking to do something a little different with your CNC. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.